So the, 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 the question, uh, the question um, that, uh, that I've got for you here real quick, and then I'll turn it back over to Dave, is what is it that, you know, you had, you were at a, I mean, I love Digital Marketer, by the way. I mean, I buy, I buy tons of their stuff. I'm, I'm sure I don't buy all their stuff because I'm sure they have all sorts of stuff I'm not aware of to buy. But if I knew about all of it, I'd buy it. You know, Ryan, if you're watching this video, I'm, I've got my credit card in my pocket <laughs> waiting to buy. Uh, but, uh, you know, I love that company. It's a great company. And something just was different that excited you to, to come and uh, be working with us. What was it that, that really, uh, for you, what did you see here that, that you said, I got to be a part of this that really set it apart for you? I, I'm just curious what that was. No, absolutely. And it, it, it's actually a question that I, I really thought about a lot because it was the question that I had to answer for myself before, before saying yes is, you know, what, what makes this what's next for me? And it really, really gelled. I mean, I, I had a great time in Denver. You know, the pickles were a little bit of a disappointment, but the time with you was great. I had an incredible meeting with you in Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. I would say at that point, I was really more, more driven by the excitement of working with two of just the most smart, engaging marketers that, that I've run into. And then where it changed was when I went to Orlando. When, when I was in Orlando, and for those of you that were there, I was at the Orlando regional event. Um, you may have seen me. I was the confused guy wandering around in the leader's dinner, just meeting people, saying hello, actually running into people that I already knew. It was, it was really, really cool to, to have that experience. But when I went to an event and I saw a room full of people that were literally there entirely committed to not only living life on their terms, but to helping others do the same. When I saw the, the level of authenticity of the Daves, the, the story and background of whether it's you know, recovering from addiction and thriving following it, or whether it's showering on a public beach to get back into a van in Hawaii, the, the level of authenticity and connection that you guys have to exactly where everyone in the company is coming from it, it's, a, it's a feeling and a magic that can't be manufactured. It's, it's just simply not possible. And so when I was in Orlando and I not only felt that, and then to be at a leadership dinner and to see the level of leadership and the amount of intelligence that have, have come to gather and as Dave says, lock arms with Empower Network, it really builds to the only conclusion anyone can come to this is a global opportunity that is going to leave a legacy that I can't really draw a comparison to. That you guys are the first that have figured out a way to combine the power and the leverage of direct response and the systems of online and the global reach of technology and combine it with an industry that breeds more success and more opportunity and more empowerment and motivation to people all over this world. So I can't help but think, how could I miss that? How could I not say, wow, this is the right time with the right people and I wanna be on board for that. So I mean, they're really, after Orlando, after meeting the leadership, after getting to spend a little bit more time with some of our internal team members that I haven't gotten to meet, uh, those are the other individuals that you guys have you know, been able to bring on board and, and invest in. Just It, it really checked out at, at every point, at every decision point that I had of opportunity, team, leadership, leaders in the field, the, the individual representatives in the audience that I got a chance to just talk to about why they chose Empower. Uh, the decision was made. Yeah, awesome. Cool, man. I, you know, I'm always kind of humbled to hear that too because, um, you know, the the, the intention uh, and the motive for us starting this company was was really um, never to become, you know, the next, uh, you know, huge, massive, billion dollar company. It never was intended to be a global opportunity or anything like that. It was really just intended to um, give people who needed. Um, a foot up and needed something real that they could kind of grab onto and be inspired by and actually have success. It was, it was built for them. Uh, it was built for us to build just with them, just like them, and lock arms in the trenches like we still do, which is one of the reasons why we brought you on is because our heart, and I know your heart too, but our heart is uh, being with people. It is being uh, in lifting people up 
And uh, I would always say, and I, I've always said this and always will, that um, you don't know Empower Network till you've come to one of our events. You just don't, you, you, it's, just, it's just not possible until you go and you meet some of the people who are in our audience, who travel from all over the, the country, all over the, literally the world, uh, who sleep in their cars, literally sleep in their cars outside of the hotel uh, to uh, just be there and to plug into the, to the really, uh, what I can only explain as electricity that happens in the inspiration. Um, that, that's, that's absolutely what, what happened for me. I yeah. mean, that, that's, that's what I experienced. And for those of you watching, there may be people that are watching this that were exactly where I was at, that you thought you knew Empower. I thought I knew Empower because I had gone through all of your sales funnels. I checked out all of the material because it's great material. I went through and I looked at everything from an, an outside looking in just purely as what was available on the pixels on the screen. And when I went to that regional, when I saw the people that were there, it, it changed everything. Yeah, yeah, it always does every single time. Um, uh, one other thing uh, that, that you know I'm super excited about is the fact that we're now bringing in key players that are going to help us expand and improve in the areas that we need to expand and improve in. Uh, there's people who have judged us from the outside and said, you know, look at those couple of, you know, young punk homeless guys uh, or ex-homeless guys. We're not really homeless yeah, anymore. Yeah, I was going to say, you have a uh, birthday but, party at your house. I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. It's clearly a home. <laughs> uh, uh, but, you know, we've also our entrepreneurs who started this company off of our home office desks. You know, I can remember back our first employee uh, uh, or like kind of real employee on the payroll was a girl named Emily who our first contest was packing up iPods on my kitchen table and, and when we realized that half of the winners were international, it was like this huge catastrophe to figure out how we were going to ship <laughs> all of these iPods all over the world, but we found a way to do it. Mm -hmm. We found a way to get it done in everything that we've said we were going to do, we've done. But now, as we're growing, maturing, not only as entrepreneurs, right, but also as a company, to be able to bring in people like yourself who are going to help us um, focus more on our products and how can we improve them? How can we take them and, and maybe uh, uh, maybe advance into new niches and, and do new things? What's the next evolution for us? Take our marketing and improve it, make it more simple, help us expand internationally uh, in, a, uh, in a way that's going to allow the, the people who are already kind of interested to really take what they've kind of got so far and do more with it and all of the people who are out there who don't know about us to find out about us because um, who we are uh, is is the Empower Network and what that means to me anyways is that you know this is about people this is about helping people understand that they've got a potential inside of them that most of them haven't tapped into yet and that when they do they can create and design a lifestyle that I like to call the Empower Lifestyle uh, that you can live and focus on and really uh, and, and really experience something that, that uh, I don't I, I believe that when you step into that experience uh, it'll blow you away because I've seen that transformation in myself and also the people uh, who have transformed right in front of our eyes literally right in front mm -hmm. of our eyes um, so uh, I want to thank um, I actually want to want to take a second just to thank um, Ryan Perry Roland all those guys over at digital marketer they have been unbelievably gracious in helping us transition quickly uh, I like to be super cool like that and um, just recognize people who have helped this process um, you know happen smoothly um, I'm excited man that's what I can say I'm excited uh, uh, Dave uh, I know you're excited too man oh yeah I'm <laughs> totally pumped up you know the the thing that this leads back to, and this is my, my final thoughts, and I'll turn it over to you for your final thoughts, is, you know, this is all about expanding the vision of what's possible here. Because, you know, it, there's, there's a limit to what two people can do, right? Which we discovered when we started hiring people. You know, we were <laughs> like, wow. You know, I, I remember going over to St. Pete's uh, for the first time when the office was new. And there's like 15 people running around everywhere. And they were running around like they, had, they were like chickens with their head cut off with like stacks of papers and like answering phones and <laughs> sending emails and like panicking and somebody's getting mad over there. And then they're like carrying something across the room. And I was looking around and I was like, Dave, what the, what the freaking heck are all these people doing? You know what I mean? You'd be proud of me. I dropped the swear word there. <laughs> and, uh, you know, so, so I'm like, what the hell are all these people doing? Right. And he's like, they're doing like what we used to do. And I was like, 
oh, no wonder why no, nothing ever got done, right? So then we <laughs> went to 15 employees, and then we got a call center to answer our customer service, and then we got operations, and we started scaling out our event staff. And when you bring talented people in, the vision becomes bigger. You know, when I started this company, I had a vision of helping people to be able to do the things that I had done. I looked at uh, the people in my team and I, I love them. You know what I mean? It's like, a, I, I suppose that's a little bit weird for a marketer to say, but it's true. Like I see people in my team and I was like, they're trying, you know what I mean? I'm like, they're, and I want them to succeed. You know what I mean? I want you to succeed. And, uh, and they couldn't do it. And so I wanted to create something where people can succeed. Well, now it's about doing that in a bigger way, in a, in a way that's more powerful, in a way that's, that can expand into different languages, into different countries, into different events with different leaders speaking all around the world. And it's about doing it in a way where we can stay around for a long time. You know, we used to have a tagline at the top of all the blogs, which probably we'll end up putting back, but it said in Power Network, building a business while having a life at the same time. In Power Network, building a business while having a life at the same time. Now that's obviously like an affiliate driven message, but for all the affiliates out there, and I've always been kind of affiliate centric and then Dave's been real product centric and then we bring these worlds together and, and we're gonna get the best of both. And the reality is guys, is that I want you to succeed. And to do that, we need to think bigger. You know, there's this book I read a long time ago and I can't even remember the author, but it's super famous called The Magic of Thinking Big. And there is a magic when you take where you are and you say, you know, we've broken all the rules, but we haven't broken every rule there is to break. You know what I mean? There's companies that are a lot bigger than us. There's companies that have a lot more money that are paid out every year than us. Not percentage wise, but a lot more. I mean, they're not, there might not be any internet companies that have ever been able to do what we've done, but there's a bigger vision here. You know, I see a day when we have rooms like we had in Orlando and Anaheim and all these regionals, but instead of just normal people in the room, there's just people who are making six figures a month. You know, that's, that's my desire is to take this and to stretch it to the capacity where it just breaks through any way of describing it. So all you can say is, wow, I'm glad I was a part of that. So that's what this is really about because, you know, I, I used to have the title of CEO in Empower Network. Honestly, I don't know why, you know I mean? It's like if a, if a CEO like stares off into the distance and into the jungle and comes up with ideas all day and never talks to any of their employees, then I suppose that's what a CEO does, but I don't think so. We needed an actual one, right? So I'm excited to have you on board and what it means to be able to implement a vision that doesn't make sense to barely anybody in the world who really understands all the intricate parts of it. And uh, to really, for those affiliates out there, make you gobs more money. Uh, for the customers out there, to help you succeed more and live better in every area of your business and life that you're buying products to focus on. And for the people out there that are watching that, uh, that say, you know, I've been waiting to join, just pull out the credit card and buy. That's what I like to do. Well, I think after hearing that vision encapsulated, I think it's pretty clear to all of you why I'm here. And what, I, what I'd like to say in, in my closing thoughts is, is first and foremost, a heartfelt thank you to both Dave Sharp or Mr. Sharp and Mr. Wood for the opportunity to lock arms with you guys and, and really test the limits of what's possible both here and abroad in all of the things that we're doing. For our affiliates, my mission is simple. And for those of you that may think this is cliche, I just thought of it now, so don't judge me. But it really is fortunate that as the CEO, whether you look at it as a chief executive officer or a chief empowerment officer, it really works quite well because my sole responsibility is to make sure that anybody that chooses to lock arms with us has an opportunity that cannot be equaled anywhere in the States, outside of the States, online, offline, we exist for one reason and one reason only, and that is to make sure that anyone that chooses to live a life on their terms, we're providing them market-leading tools and products to be able to 